it's with great, great pleasure that we have the opportunity to hear from Jonathan Cannon, the head of school of Charles E. Smith School in the greater Washington area, um, about really what it is like to be the leader of such an outstanding community day school. My, my name, as Karen said, is Jonathan Cannon. Um, you can probably tell from the accent that I'm from London originally, although the accent, when I go to London, they tell me I have an American accent, so I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, I grew up in London. Um, I went to Jewish day school in, in London. For those of you who are familiar with London, it's a, it was, it's a school called the, uh, the Jewish Free School, which, which wasn't free, but it, it was Jewish. And um, it's a school of 2,000, uh, it's now a school of 2,000 students. It's one of the largest, uh, it's a high school uh, in, in the world. Um, and I went to study computer science at university, um, university called Leeds, which is in the north of England. And after I'd finished studying computer studies, science, it didn't appeal to me much as a career, so I thought I would try something else just for a little bit. Um, and I spent a year working for the Hillel Foundation in the UK as their National Director of Education. And I was fortunate at the end of that that there was a, a philanthropist in the UK who was just starting an experiment where he was looking for people who might just be interested in working in Jewish education. And he said, I will fund you for two years, one to get a qualification as a teacher, and the second, which for me was the most appealing, to go to Israel for a year and put together any program of studies that you think will enhance your own ability to be a Jewish educator. And then all I ask in return is that you commit yourself for two years to teaching in Jewish day school. That's it. I don't want to ask any more than that. And the appeal for me was that was only a four year commitment if it wasn't something that was good for me or more to the point, if it wasn't something that was good for the Jewish community, um, we could step aside and I could go back to my computers and, and, um, and they could go back to hiring decent teachers. And um, at the end of four years, uh, interestingly, I was in the first cohort of eight. And of the first three cohorts of the 24 of us who were the first 24 to go through this program, 23 of us are still in uh, full-time Jewish day school education. I won't tell you how long ago that was, but it, it's certainly more than the two years that, uh, that we were asked to serve within the community. Um, I went back, after becoming a teacher, I went back to teach at the school that I'd graduated from uh, and I, I still remember that the first day was a professional day so there were only faculty in school and I was so attuned to the rules of the school that I knocked on the faculty room door um, because no student would dare enter without without permission of course nobody answered it because who would be knocking on the faculty room door on the day when only the faculty were in school so I was kind of stuck outside for a bit but then I uh, th then I, I went back and I taught there for a few years and helped or then work on a Judaic studies curriculum, the school mix was very broad from students uh, who came from families that were, all of the families were passionately committed to a Jewish identity, but the breadth of what Jewish identity meant um, was excitingly very, very different for each of the students in the school. For some it was through religious practice, for some it was through cultural practice, um, for some it was through relationship with the Hebrew language, for some it was relationship with Yiddish, so there was really a, a breadth, for some it was through politics um, and, and the Jewish world in politics, um, so there was this, this breadth and we were trying to form a curriculum that would speak with relevance to as many of them as possible and that's uh, still some of it is used, a lot of it isn't anymore which was a wise decision but some of it is still in place and, uh, and, and has been effective. I then went on just very briefly to be the uh, director of Judaic studies at a school called Carmel College, which is, was, sadly it's closed, the uh, only Jewish boarding school in Europe. Um, and that was, that was a fascinating experience. We lived on campus. It was a real 24-7 life. And from there, I was given a unique opportunity, uh, which I think has helped form a lot of who I am to work with the Hong Kong Jewish community to build a community Jewish day school for their community. Um, and Hong Kong, first of all, I don't know if you even know it, has a Jewish community or that it could have a day school, but for those of you who are not familiar with it, there's about 300, 350 families living in Hong Kong. The problem is it's a different 350 families every year. 
because it's a very transient community and people go for two, three years and then move on. Um, and it's a very, it really, again, it runs the whole range from very involved to very, uh, to families who are very peripherally connected. And getting involved in that school and understanding the power. And, you know, I'll be straight out and transparent with you and say that in Hong Kong, a community day school was built out of necessity. Well, I can't tell you that the group got together and said, ideologically, we want a community day school. It was just not even a question. With There weren't enough of any single grouping to have their own school. Now, of course, you would say well, that doesn't stop people in the Jewish community. You know, uh, a shul of one is a perfectly acceptable, uh, <laughs> acceptable communal organ. A shul of zero is a perfectly acceptable communal uh, structure. But the groups came together. But out of that coming together through necessity, came an opportunity to really work with a vision and with an ideal and with a direction. And from there, I got, I think, which to me, although it, one of the most stressful jobs I could imagine has been the gift of a, of a position, which is the opportunity to be the head of school of Charles E. Smith Jewish Day School, which is, uh, um, ha has a long and proud history of excellence uh, in all of its areas and also excellence as a school that is is proudly uh, cross-communal cross and representative of, of, of people across, of, of denominations across the community and is successful doing that.